you're going for Hugh Jackman on heroin. Good to see you. Good to see you. He's doing well. All right, guys. Uh, I was hanging out with a girl the other night. It was a little late, and uh, her phone buzzed. A little... I was like, oh, who's that? She's like, oh, it's, uh, it's God. I was like, what does that mean? She's like, well, I got this little Bible app, and it gives me a little Bible verse, like, every day. At, at 2 a.m. It's an odd time to hear from God. It's like God's, like, drunk texting you. Hey, I know it's late because you're a mortal being and you need sleep, but, uh... What, uh, what, are, you, what are you wearing? It's pretty boring up in heaven, a lot of goody t-shirts. Maybe she sent me something nice, uh, might, you know, make your chances a little better when you, you know. <laughs> Guys, much like Anthony, I've put in a lot of thought about the apocalypse, the impending apocalypse, and, you know, I think I'm ready. I, I really do. I think I'm good. Like, not for any practical reason, but because I think I've already got, like, the intense apocalypse voice down. I think I got it. Kind of like Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. Like, that dude had, like, an intense zombie voice, like, before the shit went down. <laughs> like, he's just eating dinner with his family, and he's like, Carl. <laughs> You're everything I have. <laughs> Pass the mustard. <laughs> My hot dog is complete without me. <laughs> Guys, I'm very, very thankful that slavery is not around any like, anymore. I'm glad it's done. Yeah, let's do it up, yeah. Now we're uh, all on the same page in terms of basic human rights. It's good to hear. But no, I am very glad slavery is not around for many, many reasons. But mainly because I think like an infomercial for a human being would be very uncomfortable to watch. <laughs> I'm not sure us as like a like like human like race would ever get over that. To be on the internet and stuff, just imagine just like a very fit black man just kind of like rotating. <laughs> little number at the bottom, like a fat dude, like bearded dude yelling at you. It's like for 1999, you can get this very fit black man. He's very good at labor, and if you call out, we'll throw in his kid. Or we think it's his kid. We don't, we don't really care. <laughs> but guys, I have this thing where uh, it's very difficult for me to say anything remotely intelligent after I have sex. <laughs> like whatever filter in my brain exists, just, it goes down. And I always feel like I have to say something. Like there was one time where I, uh, you know, finished up. <laughs> And uh, I, the only thing that popped to my head, and that's what I said, I was just like, oh, well, uh, that's the ball game. <laughs> I don't know what context you're ever supposed to use that phrase. I don't think I've ever said it before in my life. I don't know what the appropriate context for that phrase is. Like, maybe if I was like an umpire in like, a little league baseball game, I'd go, that's the ball game. <laughs> Another time, I was with someone, and, um, I told her that it was hard for me to, again, you know, finish up. <laughs> and while she was on top, right? Because yeah, of gravity? I don't really know, but... <laughs> she kind of took it as like a dare, right? So, we're, uh, you know, doing the thing. She's on top, and I come like way before I anticipated. Like, way before. And the only thing that popped into my brain was like a, like a Breaking Bad quote. I was like, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I was in a Walgreens the other day, and there was a Cosmopolitan magazine. You guys know that? Cosmopolitan. Yeah. Great read, very intellectual stuff, I know. But uh, it was this one magazine, and it was dedicated to Brad Pitt for his like 50th birthday or something. And they were going through all like his movies, like not according to like most memorable performances or best performances, but just how attractive he was in each given movie. So of course, there's like one little like thing for uh, Fight Club. And it's, you know, him shirtless, you know, chiseled abs, chilling. And then they're in, like, pink font. There's this little blurb underneath it. And it says, the first rule of Fight Club is, show off those chiseled abs, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if that was the first rule of Fight Club? <laughs> like, Brad Pitt's, like, dirty and sweaty. And he's like, god damn, a whole generation of pumping gas. <laughs> Fight Club's the greatest man that ever lived. First rule of Fight Club is show off those chiseled abs, Brad. <laughs> and the second rule of Fight Club is shut up.
show off those chiseled abs, Brad. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thank you. So much. My name's Charles Carter. Fighter, as I was saying, <laughs> 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 but uh, where are the uh